Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a data frame from vectors in R. So before we start, let's take a look at some vectors. Supposing I'm trying to create a table or a data frame of data from uh, students. You can see here I've created, I'm going to create five separate vectors. First one's called name, then we've got a vector called age, height in centimeters, weight in kilograms, and gender indicated by the letters M for male and F for female. So these are five separate vectors, and you can see that there are seven components to each one. So I've got seven names, seven ages, seven heights, seven weights, and seven genders. So let me create these, make sure these all work. So we're gonna run each of these five lines, one after the other. So run line four, line five, line six, line seven, and line eight. And I can see in my a global environment area that each vector has been created and we've got numeric and character type data. So this is a mixture of data types and I'd now like to be able to uh, create a data frame uh, using these vectors. And we can do that using the data frame function. So let's create a, a data frame. I'm going to call it student data. Give these my students. And assign it using the data dot, dot frame function. Open and close brackets. Um, I, and I'm going to add my um, vectors in here. If you want to learn more about the data.frame function, as always, you can go to the um, help section on the R Studio, and you can get a description and usage of the data frame function and lots of um, arguments and examples of how this might be used. So a very good idea if you're using this for the first time to read the help section here. So in the data frame, uh, I really only need to tell it here what the names of the vectors are. So the data frame is going to have rows, so I'm going to use row.names parameter and assign it an equal sign and then here very carefully add in the five vector names exactly named as they've been created so the first one is capital n a m e so no typos no lowercase n age with a capital a height if you make a typo or a, a, a misspelling here um, or put in a word that doesn't exist you will get an error error so gender so there just to double check then again these five um, uh, vector names are match those on lines four, five, six, seven, and eight. So yes, they do. So now I can go ahead and create my new data frame called student data. And let's take a look at it using the print function. Print student data, select there, run line 11. And we can see, as we can expect, we've got a nice, neat data table uh, made up of our five separate vectors in our data here. So we've got the names of the students, their age, their height, their weight, and gender, and so on. So that can be useful if you've got a data in separate vectors that are not in your data frame and you want to create a new data frame. Now you need to be careful with this because it is limited. Supposing um, that the data for, that the vectors are not all at the same size. So what I'm going to do to illustrate this, I'm going to copy line five in the age. So copy that line and paste it down here below. Now what I'm going to do is, we can see that there are seven ages in here. I'm going to delete the last age so that there are now only six uh, ages in this vector. So I'm going to recreate the vector age. I'm going to copy the command to create the data frame and try and create it again. Copy and paste. So we can see it's exactly the same code as before. Let me just widen this out. Exactly the same code as before, only this time the age uh, vector has only got six ages in it. So if I now try and run this um, line of code here, you can see that we're going to get an error um, on this because um, one of the ve uh, ve vectors age has only six components while all the others have seven. And so R is not able to create a data frame uh, in this case. So be very, very careful when you are um, adding uh, vectors to a data frame. They need to have the same number of columns in them, the same number of values, the same everything so that they match up. Otherwise, R will have some difficulties with that code. So that's how you create a data frame using vectors in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.